time, like my my high school, I was definitely a, a like as far as a sticks fandom, it was a it was spread out. Um, I like, I like, the, I like that. But I can't remember any of their other song names. It's like they they are they they are one of the many bands that I couldn't tell you the name of their song. But by the by the time the first verse starts, I can usually sing along. There's a lot of these songs. Oh yeah, no, it's, that you it's, can't it's, quite name. You don't really know it, but you've heard it, or or you've heard the name of it, but you don't know how it goes. Kind of vice versa. Oh, kind yeah, of like yeah. there's a, there's certain actresses that I hear the name of, and I don't think I know who she is. I've heard her name. Everybody talks about. It. I'm not sure who that is, but when I find out who it is, oh, I've seen that person a million times. And one of those is Emily Blunt. Exactly. Emily Olivia Leah Blunt is somebody. You hear about the news. I don't even know. When I looked this up, I didn't even know why we heard about Emily Blunt. See, I... Like, I, why is she famous? Do you know why she's so famous? I I, I do. I'm a, I, I, I would say that I'm closer to being a fan <laughs> of Emily Blunt than I am More so than Edie Falco. Edie Falco? Okay. Yeah, no. You didn't even say Falco, right? You said Falco. Yeah, so you're not see, a true fan. You didn't even say her name right. No. But Emily Blunt, I feel like it's hip to know who she is. I feel Very. like I'm lame because I do, didn't know. I'm sure I now you know. Way. Just by Googling her, I now know she's married to John Krasinski, who is the guy from The Office, Jim from The Office, but is also in the Bourne supremacy, Bourne identity. He's Jason Bourne. No. Right? He plays no. Jason Bourne, the action figure. No. Guy. No, he's, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's uh, Jack Ryan now. Oh, Jack Ryan. The... Jack Ryan, whatever Jack Ryan is. Okay. Is that. Wow. I don't know what Jack Ryan is. No, is that a fine. famous thing? Well, Jack Has Ryan been goes back to goes back to Alec Baldwin in Hunt oh, for does? Red October. Yeah. Oh, it's a Hunt for Red October character. That's Jack Ryan. That's the first Jack Ryan. Oh. Then you see, it's really confusing because it goes from Alec Baldwin to Harrison Ford to oh. oh. Oh, so this John Krasinski guy's playing those guys? Yeah, he's just, he's like... See, see, I learned something new and you taught me. Thank you, oh master of teaching pop oh, culture. No, it's... it's pop it's culture a, master? It's just a gruff outlay. <laughs> Speaking of gruff... A gruff outline. <gasps> a gruff outline. That's you. You're a gruff. This is a gr- This has been a gruff, a gruff outline, outline with gruff. And loud. Gruff. And loud. Google says, is why is Emily Blunt so famous? Uh, she burst into the limelight with a brilliant performance in the 2006 movie The Devil Wears Prada, which I not only didn't see, I have no idea what it's about. Oh, dude, you should watch that. I don't know. I know but that's the thing. It was like a Best Picture nominee if it didn't win. I don't know. But I really find that I enjoy movies when I know nothing about oh, what dude. I'm going to like. I Nothing. Dude, like, just, I want to know nothing about good. what I'm not going to say. I, I only want to know the title. And so. So there's a couple movies that I've watched since, and I can't think of any. Like it's Big Fish, wonder. Big Fish might have been one. Oh, dude, Big Fish is wonderful. I had no idea what that was going Good. into it. I knew nothing. There's no way. I there's never no saw way someone could explain it to you. Yeah, and it was really enjoyable. I was like, I had no Wasn't idea it? this is what I was gonna enjoy. I miss the days where you would just a movie would be on, and you had to watch. Like you just you go to a movie, and you don't know everything about it. Yeah, you you like you look at a paper and go, what's playing. Or when that we were kids, like cool we would picture. go to a movie with our parents. Like we didn't get yeah. to choose. We sometimes didn't know what movie we were gonna see until we were there. Like they brought sure, us. Like I think we went to see Secret My Success because Teen Wolf was in it. Like it was Teen Wolf and Supergirl. I think you that's right. why we went to see it. You are right. Secret of My Success was a movie that we saw not having any idea. We didn't see a preview for it, I don't think. Maybe we did. I don't know. If we did, it didn't matter. We were too young to really. Emily Blunt also gained attention previously with My Summer of Love in 2004. Her uncle is Crispin Blunt, the well-known conservative member of Parliament. Which I oh, know that. nice. And the other question is, how did Emily Blunt meet John Krasinski? And this is when I found out she was married to this guy. And they met through a mutual friend at a restaurant in L.A. He was Aww. sitting with, she said he was sitting with our friend Justin Thoreau. And he abandoned Justin and came over to us. He just stood there and made me laugh. I kind of knew right away. Uh, or she probably said, I kind of knew right away. Isn't that how British I, people talk? I kind that, of knew that, right away. Mate. That's, Hi, mate. That, I love that, a chocolate kitty. I love the gym. I love the gym. 
on the offish. Is that how British people say? I don't get on the offish. I, you know, <laughs> I'm British not accent? as familiar. You have, you have, you, you, you talk to those Scottish cats a lot. Pip, so. pip, cheerio. Yes, the Scottish guys who love it when I mention them, by the way. So we'll see if they love it on this YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, those guys are great. Just make sure um, you leave this in the cut. Yeah, Daniel Beaton, uh, Nathan Fordyce, who is a musician. He's got a band. Check out North, Nathan Fordyce. You can download his music on Spotify. Pretty good. And good. the other guy's name is John. And I don't. Well, what, what type of music does Nathan do? Uh, kind of like uh, singer songwriter type of uh, rock, rock and roll. I guess he plays all the instruments on his albums. Um, yeah, in one of our episodes that we had him, the outro, where I put some of his music on the outro, and I linked to his album on Bandcamp. So after Stanley Tucci went back to his wife after Edie Falco, okay. his wife died. Oh, yeah. Um, and so in 2011, he was a widower. Stanley Tucci became engaged to someone named Felicity Blunt, an English literary agent who happens to be the elder sister of actress Emily Blunt, oh. who co-starred with Tucci in The Devil Wears Prada and introduced a couple several years later at her own 2010 wedding to actor John Krasinski. So he met... Emily Blunt's Felicity, sister. Felicity Blunt at John Krasinski's wedding. Uh, Tucci and Blunt were married in a civil ceremony in summer 2012, followed by a larger observance of Middle Temple Hall at Middle Temple Hall in London on September 29th, 2012. They, Stanley Tucci lives in London. A new man. And they have a son who was born in 2015 and a daughter born in 2018. So Stanley Tucci's like starting a whole nother life. Nice. Good for him. But who is now that we're at Stanley? We're comfortably in Stanley oh. Tucci's life. We know a couple. No, echoey. You did. Yeah, you're freezing. Up. Am I freezing? Oh. Am I okay? Oh, now you're, you're back. back. Everything's fine with now me. You're... Okay. I hope it was just on your end. Do I no, sound you weird? just kind of went. You, you, but not, you're are fine you, now. Are you mad? Are you upset? No, no. I mean, a little, little. Where's your little mood? Where's your mood right now? My mood is fine. I was worried, but now it's much better because you feel okay. better. How's your, how's your anal glands feeling? Uh, they seem okay. Slightly You're swollen. F- Carlos Summer here. 